Hey, my name is Satija Monaghe, and I'm a statistics PhD student here at Cornell University. Over my years as a student, I tweaked my note-taking methods every semester, and I finally feel like I have it figured out. Hopefully, you'll find that this method helps you remember concepts better the first time and also makes it easier to review when you need to. I feel like a special topic like this deserves a special location, and so what better place to film this video than one of the most iconic spots at Cornell, the A.D. White, a.k.a. the Harry Potter Library. As you probably know from the thumbnail, this note-taking method requires you to have three colored pens, red, blue, and black. I prefer to use a spiral notebook, but you can also use an iPad if you're comfortable with it. In my experience, the split between PhD students and math classes is around 50-50 for pen and paper versus digital note-taking. Let's get into it. I'll first introduce the primary uses for each color and fill in the gaps along the way. Whenever I start writing on a fresh topic or fresh chapter, I always like to open with a bold red title in all caps. This makes it easy to identify roughly where you are in your notes when looking back on them. Keep these capitalized titles in mind, they'll be important in a later section. A 2009 color study from the University of British Columbia revealed that the color red boosted performance on detail-oriented tasks such as memory retrieval and proofreading by as much as 31% compared to blue. According to Juliet Zhu, co-author of the study, red is a color often associated with danger and mistakes, prompting people to be more cautious and attentive of the task at hand. Along with titles, examples, theorems, and subtitles are headed in red, but not in all caps necessarily. Many upper-level math classes are formatted in theorem-proof format, with examples in between. In this method, subtitles are underlined and left-aligned, kind of like Python code. Theorems and lemmas are boxed in red. To save time, because of course in an actual lecture you can't be falling behind taking notes, I like to just draw the corners of the boundary of the theorem to demarcate it. Blue is the main color that's used throughout the notes. In the same 2009 study, researchers found that using blue ink when note-taking can improve your cognitive performance and make your notes more memorable. In this method, anything that's written on the board is generally written in blue on the page. This is the workhorse color. I would associate the expressions written in blue with an air of formality and matter-of-factness. Every new lecture starts on a new page and is marked with the day's date. Although theorems are titled and boxed in red, the actual theorems themselves are written within the box in blue, as they are facts from the literature. Furthermore, definitions have the word definition written and then underlined followed by a colon. Then the definition is written in blue with a blank left for the actual word. This is then filled in with red to make it easier to parse when reviewing. Also, when you make a mistake, I find that in these fast-paced math classes, it's best to draw a quick line through the mistake and keep going, as done here. But note that new or interesting expressions are written in red. The color that ties everything together is black. This color is for mathematical details and commentary. I think that the way that I would think about it is, if I was reading a textbook, all of the main details would be written in blue, but all of the proofs and notes that I made are written in black. In mathematical proofs that have multiple parts going down the right-hand side, I like to underline them in different styles of blue to know which terms to pair off. Also, blue is the color to use when making notes about proofs. If, for example, two terms sum to less than zero, then I'll note that using blue on the black writing. Important markings, like if you want to write a star instead of a long expression, can be written in red to make the notation clear. Basically, black is the color of all details. 
All the details following an introduction of an idea or proof or lemma are written in black. These are the things that if you really want to, you can find when reviewing your notes, but probably aren't that important for parsing the information. If you're using a physical notebook, you can use this pouch at the very front to keep the syllabus for easy reference. Because math classes sometimes feel quite jumbled and disorganized, I found that keeping a table of contents makes me feel more in control of my learning. All of the all caps red titles in the notes are written in the table of contents. This should give you a table of contents that's around 20 entries in length to help you easily look back on what you've learned, especially if you need to refer to these notes long into the future. Finally, before I finish this video with comprehensive examples of notes taken in this style, make sure to let me know in the comments how you take notes in your classes and what changes you would make to the RBB note taking method to make it work for you. If you have any questions or comments for me, I promise I'll respond to you down in the comments below. Make sure to subscribe for more college and grad school related content and I wish you the best of luck in your studies.